First, take out of all items from the package. Package includes manual, monitor, camera, test wire, power cord, antenna, cigarette lighter, four iron bracket, yield bracket, windshield mount, 3M sticker, and other accessories. Pick up the yo bracket. Mount two of the antennas on the monitor. Tear off the protective film on the camera before use. Install the third antenna on the camera. Pick up the test wire. Connect one end of the two connectors of the test wire to the monitor. Connect the other end of the test wire's two connectors to the camera. Connect the other end of the test wire to the cigarette lighter adapter. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. There are 9 infrared lights and a sensor on the camera. The infrared light is on. The image becomes black and white. When the infrared light is off, the image becomes colorful. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. Align the bracket with the hole on the side of the monitor. Fix the monitor and bracket with screws. Tighten the screws. The operation is the same as before. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. Pick up the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Paste it on the bottom of the monitor bracket. You can tear off the other side of the 3M sticker and stick it on the dashboard. You can also use the windshield bracket to mount it on the dashboard or windshield. Loosen the screw. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. Now remove the U-bracket. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and slide in. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. Tear off the protective film at the bottom of the bracket. Install it on the windshield or dashboard and pull down the buckle to fix it. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screw. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and shows no signal. Connect the power cord to the camera. Red is positive, black is negative. Please test positive and negative in advance. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the reverse lights, running lights, tail lights. The black wire is connected to the negative of the reverse lights, running lights, tail lights. 
the image appears on the screen. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. Press the menu key again to quit the menu mode. Press the V1, V2 key to switch to the CM2 channel. Press the V1, V2 key again to switch to the CM3 channel. Press the V1, V2 key again to switch to the CM4 channel. Press the V1, V2 key again to switch to the quad mode. In the quad screen state, touching the plus minus third key has no effect. Press the V1, V2 key again to switch to the CM1 channel. Touch the plus and minus keys to quickly adjust the brightness. Press the power key to turn off on the screen. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is the pairing signal. If the product you received has an image, the monitor cannot enter pairing mode. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the picture. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the OK key, the icon turns red. Press the plus and minus keys to adjust the brightness. Press the OK key to confirm. The icon turns yellow. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the contrast. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to adjust the contrast. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the HUE. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to adjust the hue. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the menu key to return to the previous interface. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the mirror flip. Press the OK key to confirm. Touch the minus and plus keys to select the mode you need. Press the menu key to return to the previous interface. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the mode. Press the OK key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you need, such as two splits. Press the menu key to return to the previous interface. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the CM setup. Press the OK key to confirm. You can turn on or off signal camera channels. Press the menu key to return to the previous interface. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the system. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the OK key, the icon turns red. Press the plus and minus keys to adjust the system date. Press the OK key to confirm. Adjust year, month, day, hour, minute, second in turn. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the language. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to select the language you need. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the P line. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to turn off on the guidelines. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the default. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to turn on the factory settings. Press the OK key to confirm. Please note, after restoring the factory settings, all functions will be restored to default. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the play. Press the OK key to confirm. When no SD is inserted, the play function cannot be entered. Pick up the SD card, not included. Turn off the monitor's power. 
Insert the SD card into the SD card slot on the side of the monitor. Turn on the monitor's power. The red dot flashes, indicating that the monitor is recording. Press the OK key to turn off the record function. The red dot disappears from the screen. Press the OK key to turn on the record function. The red dot flashes. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the record. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the format. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to turn on the format the SD card. Press the OK key to confirm. When you insert a new SD card, please format the SD card first. Press the menu key to return to the previous interface. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the play. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to select the video you want to watch. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the OK key to pause or play the video. Press the menu key to return to the menu mode. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the record. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the OK key. The icon turns red. Press the plus and minus keys to turn on off the rewrite function. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to switch to the record time. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to select record time you need. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the menu key to quit the menu mode. Long press the OK key to turn on the guideline. Long press the OK key again to turn off the guideline. When the guideline appear on the screen, long press the V1, V2 key, the V appear on the screen. Press the plus and minus key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the V1, V2 key, the H appear on the screen. Press the plus and minus key to move the guideline to the left or right. Press the V1, V2 key, the W appear on the screen. Press the plus and minus key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the V1, V2 key, the V appear on the screen. Press the menu key to save settings, then press menu to exit menu mode. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom.